BFTB, best fight the best. Man, I'm on, I'm, I'm moving right now, man. I had to go grab some shit up, so. I'm in this, I'm in this Walmart in this line waiting. But the show must go on, so here your boy is. Young Merv the Cup, man, what's poppin'? Gregory White, what it do? Gear, uh, Pierre Gear, what up? Macadon One. Gregory Wyatt, my brother Tony B, Gil Coles, King Louis, salute family. Tony Dior, E. Woodson, what's poppin'? DJ Q, my, my brother, Mr. Shelton in the building. Uh, John Jacob Jingleheimer, what's good? Michael James, Ramsey Sue, how are you? Brian S., what's up, man? Sheldon Holmes, thank you. Mike from Boston, what's poppin'? All right, man. So again, I left the topic open today, man, for a reason. I left the topic open today for a reason, bro. So Jamal Charlo did an interview with the Boxing Voice, right? Where he said, you know what I'm saying, he, he fight a, he'll fight a 154 pounder. And everybody got, everybody's all up in arms about this. Oh my gosh, yo. What about this? I had my brother Sam D hit me up, and I'm cool with my brother Sam D hit me up. But I had like six or seven UK clown ass niggas hit me up. Oh, you're gonna have to speak for about this. This is a, this guy's a coward. He's a disgrace. See, I thought I thought I thought this and I thought that. Bro, y'all do realize? You do realize that Jamal Charlo? You do realize Jamal Charlo already said that he'll fight uh, Andra. You do realize that. You do realize Jamal Charlo already said, I will fight uh, Demetrius Andrade. He already said this. So we are waiting for Demetrius Andrade to say something. But yet, here I get all these people coming at me. And not, I'm not talking about Sam D, because my brother Sam D hit me up, and not, I'm cool with that. I didn't even respond to these other bitch-ass niggas. Sam D's my guy, so I'm cool with that. I didn't even respond to these other niggas. Though. Oh, no. These other niggas didn't even respond to me. Didn't even respond, bro. I didn't even respond. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. Derek McGee, what's popping, family? It's a waste of time responding to these dudes because they're not, they're all they are is haters. Legitimate haters. They don't give a fuck about what's going on. They don't give a fuck about the fights. They don't care about none of that. All they care about is trying to find some type of weight so they can say, you were wrong. Oh, look at this. Look, bro, this nigga Demetrius Andrade hasn't said a damn thing yet. Nothing. He hasn't said anything. And then the one thing he did say, because because um people are saying to me that he's willing to fight uh, a smaller guy. Oh, he wants to fight a smaller guy. Well, well, didn't Demetrius Andrade say he wants to fight Errol Spence? Let me say that again. Let me say this again. Didn't Demetrius Andrade say that he wants to fight Errol Spence? Didn't he say that? Now, now Jamal Charlo saying he's willing to fight a 154 pounder. Was it, wasn't uh, Jamal Charlo at 154? Now, I'm not making excuses for any of these niggas, but these are facts, bro. Jamal Charlo was a champion at 154. A champion. Mr. Miller Vice was popping. Iceberg Nerd came to win in the building. My brother, legendary top cast done slid in the door. What's poppin', King? Robert Smiley, I see you, fam. DB Monster Track, Tony Dior, what's good? Steven L, what's poppin', fam? Let me let me say this again. Let me say this again, y'all. So we on so we're all on the same page. Let me say this again. Big LT, what's poppin'? Let me say this again. All right. Demetrius Andrade did not and has not responded. To Jamal Charlo at all. So they asked Jamal Charlo if he's if if he will fight such and such or whoever, blah blah blah. The man says I'm willing to fight them dudes. No problem, I'll fight him, no problem. My brother Sam D was good, King. And my brother Sam D hit me up in the hit me up in the email, you know what I'm saying, to talk about to talk about the uh situation. So I don't want nobody going at my brother Sam D because that that's not what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? He he's not 
Sam D don't be going at me like that. He just basically be asking the question and pretty much saying he don't agree with my opinion of Charlo, I mean, Andre being scared. I'm talking about these UK bitch ass niggas, these other whole ass niggas that try to use my brother Sam D and use my brother Troy to, oh, well, look, yeah, well, this and that, try to, try to use them as some type of infiltration. And it ain't even on that level, bro. It's not even on that level. RL, what's up, man? Signs of the time, what's good? Ian Harrison, I see you. GB Boxing, what up? Mark Wonderlick, what's poppin', family? Yeah, I know, Sam D. I know, King. I, I already know. I already know. But I gotta address, I have to say it because these whole ass niggas try to use that to think that there's some type of break in the family and they can wiggle their way in. Man, get the fuck out of here, bro. Get the fuck out of my motherfucking face. Because I guarantee you, if you whole ass niggas think that, oh, well, you know, Sam D said this to BFTB, if you whole ass niggas was standing around, right, and I'm lighting your bitch ass up, I guarantee you Sam D would not get on your side. I will put a bill on it. Says Sam D will not get on your side. So you think you got a friend in Sam D. Go ahead. Think that. Say that's that's my family. He don't mean he he ain't shit to y'all whole ass niggas. I'm just letting y'all know that. <laughs> Say it again, Sam D. That's exactly what them bitch ass niggas is. But anyways, let me get back to this work. Let me get back to this, right? I believe my opinion based on the facts. And I'm not changing this until the facts change. When the facts change, if Demetrius Andra comes out and says, okay, I want Jamal Charlo. You got a belt. I want it. I can't get this bitch ass nigga Canelo. I can't get this fucking coward bum Lufkin. All right? So I want Charlo. That's what, that's what I want. I want Charlo. I can't get these other guys. I want you. If he does that, then my opinion about him being scared is gone. Until he does that, my opinion is not going to change. This is why I keep telling y'all. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that shit was all about, but whatever. I'm back at the crib in a minute anyway, so I'm going to kill this one and uh, jump back on my other shit. But, you know what I'm saying? I just want to make sure that I don't... Um, Cause I know y'all be waiting for the graveyard to open up and I don't want to do that shit on different types, different times and shit like that. I try to be consistent as I can when it comes to this, uh, open shit up on time or whatnot. Uh, but anyways, anyways, my, he was, what up fam? Leon Robinson, what it do? Donald Grant, what's good King? Renozo in the building. Uh, uh, Renoa, what's up fam? But I, I say bro, my opinions are based on facts. Jay Cooley in the building. My opinions are based on on facts black thanos up in the bitch what's good family ty french i see you. gregory white troll hunter in the building you know my 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 all of my opinions are based on facts now if the facts change i need y'all to understand this if the facts change then my opinion will change all right if the facts change my opinion will change my brother pk in the building what's popping if the facts change, my opinion will change. Until the facts change, my opinion's not going to change. My opinion is not changing. That nigga Demetrius Andrade is scared, bro. Scared to death. And even now, after Charlo is saying he's willing to fight a 154-pounder, you know what I'm saying? He's willing to fight a 154-pounder. Even after saying that, if, Char if Andrade don't say nothing after that, this nigga's really scared. Like for real, for real, skin. If he don't say nothing after that, if he don't, if he don't respond to something in some way, bro, if he don't do that, this nigga is really scared. For real, for real, scared. Because the facts are telling me this. The facts are telling me. Arwick, what up? So Regis Taylor, right? Regis is fighting. Uh, Regis, Regis is fighting Josh Taylor. That Regis Taylor fight is about to happen this weekend, right? Black House Ironworks, what's good, family? My brother PK, I see you, fam. So that Regis fight is going to be a beast. Bro, that Regis fight is going to be a fucking monster. And I can't wait, man. I can't wait. Now, now, listen, fam. I picked Josh Taylor to win this fight. I picked Josh Taylor to win. I'm not, I'm standing on my square. I do not want Josh Taylor to win. I don't. I do not want him to win. I'm, I, I want Regis to win. I want Regis to destroy Josh Taylor. That's what I want. I'm telling y'all this right now, loud and clear, so everybody can hear me. I want Regis to win. All right? So everybody can hear me. I want Regis to win. I want Regis to destroy this man. 
badly. I just don't think it's going to happen. I want him to win. This, let's understand, fam. I want this man to win, bro. I want him to destroy Josh Taylor, bro. I want him to destroy Josh Taylor. Destruction. I mean, the absolute obliteration. I want him to annihilate this man. Badly. Leave no doubt. Leave no doubt. I want him to destroy him, bro. I just don't see it happening. There she is. What's up, Tay-Tay? I see a queen, Tay-Tay, and a queen. My brother Kaz in the building. I seen queen in the building. Listen, I, just, I don't see it happening. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I don't see it happening. I don't see it. Now, I want it to happen. Understand me, family. I want Rigaru to destroy this man badly. Destroy him badly. I just don't see it, man. I just don't see it. Hell no, I don't think Josh Taylor's going to stop Rigaru. No. I don't. Where are they fighting, fam? They're fighting overseas. They ain't fighting in America. They're not, they're not fighting in America. They are fighting overseas. That's number one. Number one, they're fighting overseas. Not in America. So he already lost the first four rounds. All right. Josh Taylor already won the first four rounds. The first four rounds are in the books. I'm just letting y'all know that. The first four rounds of this fight, they're already in the books. Josh Taylor already won. Fat Ninja, what's up? Just throwing that out there. I'm just throwing that out there. So Regis is Regis is going to have to stop this man to win, in my opinion. He's going to have to stop him to win. See, Breezy, that's all I want him to do. That's all I want Andrade to do is respond. That's it. <laughs> that's all I want him to do. That's it. But I, I now Regis can stop him. Taylor can stop him. Both of these guys can stop each other if the correct punches land. If the correct punches land, they can both stop each other. I don't think, I don't think Josh Taylor is going to land on him like that because Regis is underrated as far as his defense and his distance. As far as his defense and tunnel vision, what's popping, fam? King Dirt, what up? As far as his defense and distance, because what people don't, what people don't give Regis the credit for, Bert in the building, what's popping, family? What people don't give Regis the credit for is Regis masters distance. Right? He mastered Reg, you don't really see Regis in an up close, knock him down, drag him out brawl all the time. He's always at distance. He's always at bang bang at that distance. He he keeps it there. Right? He keeps it this that, that distance. Josh Taylor ain't no punk, man. Josh Taylor ain't no punk. Josh Taylor is not a punk. He is not a bum. Josh Taylor is good as fuck. That dude is good, bro. He's good. He's a puncher. Not a not a super big puncher, but he can punch. You know what I'm saying? He can he can box. He, I think I think Regis is a better boxer. But uh I think Josh Taylor is a is a better fighter. You know what I'm saying? A better fighter. But I think Regis is a better puncher and a better boxer. I think Regis is a better puncher and a better boxer, but I think I think Josh Taylor is a better fighter. This is a great fight, bro. This is a great fight. And I want Regis to destroy this man. Please let me eat crow. Please. I will gladly title my next live the crow eating feast. Gladly, bro. I will gladly do this, man. Yeah, yeah, Sam D. Low key it is, bro. Low key it is. You had you don't have an Errol Spence Sean Porter, you know what I'm saying, and a Regis Josh Taylor in the same year. And then have the fight that we just had with Better BF Vozik. You don't have those fights in the same year. So on the low, these are this is a great year of fighting, bro. I think Bumlovkin Bumlovkin should fight Andrade. That's who I think. Either Andrade or Charlo. There is no there's an excuse for him to duck Charlo. There is no excuse for Bumlovkin to duck Demetrius Andrade. None. Absolutely none. There is absolutely no excuse. For Bum Lofkin to duck Andrade. None. 
Look at this guy. Look at this guy. So, so don't listen. This guy BFTB vlogs, right? Stealing my shit. Stealing my shit. That's fine. That is fine. He says send him send him a link because he sees I'm on my computer. I'm on my cell phone. But that's okay. That's okay. Daddy's home. I'll be back in five minutes.